Hi guys, Steve here. In this video, I'll be showing you a new way to tame the Astrocetus, the Space Whale. Now this took five days to work out and master, so if this will help you, please like and subscribe if you're not already, click the bell notifications and all, and share it with your friends. Thank you. Now the first thing you need to know is you don't need any of this. This was just one of the early tests. Kite the Astrocetus to a space bridge. You would have already put down one stone behemoth gate. It will aggro and follow you. So just kite it towards the gate, make sure it's aligned up correctly, let's have a little dance, get a second gate ready, as it will try and fly through the gate, its body will get stuck, then its head will turn and point forward, at that point run forward with super speed, get underneath the whale, keep slowly walking forward, pressing the behemoth gate to put it down, and as soon as it's not blocked by the whale you'll be able to place it. The second behemoth gate behind needs to be as close to the first one as possible, because if it's close enough it will trap the astrocetus and it can't escape. Put a behemoth gate door in the back gateway, there's already one in the front so close that. You've got a whale trapped and you should stop it walking away, plus the closed gate stops any splash damage from the cannonballs. As you can see I'm on the cannon installation away from the gate, out of a tail damage range. The whale usually works its way to the left when it's attacking, so try and hit it on the nose with a cannonball, that way its body won't get damaged and affect the tame efficiency. Wait for a reoccurring action before you fire, mine will be the whale calling, that way you can judge all your shots the same. It's done the call, so fire, hit it in the head, there's no damage numbers on its body, so it was a good hit, load another cannonball, wait for it to call again, there we go, fire. The last one hit, so we know this one will. When it's high on torpor, it will turn away from where the damage came from. And it just so happens I put a foundation in each corner behind it, in case it turned left or right. Here you can put another cannon down, aim it high up. You need to hit it in the head, and then turn it to where the whale's head is. Now you've only got about 10 to 15 seconds to shoot it before it warps out of there. Because when it's high on torpor like this, it'll warp away. Managed to hit it, it was no body damage numbers, so that was a good hit again. And you will find that Astrocetus is knocked out. I'm not sure if I made taming this easier, because it seems to take less cannonball hits to knock it out. Right, all you got to do now is wait for it to get hungry. I carried the second cannon to put behind it, because if you place it down, sometimes its tail can destroy it. Most of the time it doesn't, so you can put it down beforehand if you've got a spare one. Give it the extraordinary kibble. I'm only on two times taming on this server. It's going to take a while for it to get hungry, so I might as well skip forward a little bit. It's just about to have something to eat. There you go, the taming's gone up. And yes, even though it was perfectly hit with cannonballs with no damage to its body, the taming effectiveness is still only at 80%. Now I've tried just about every single weapon in game, and no matter what you hit it with, it still stays around 80%. We shall demonstrate some of those right after this one. It's going to be a while before it gets hungry again, so I'm going to skip forward to over then. Any second now, there you go, it's tamed. So that was perfectly hitting it with cannonballs. And it comes out at level 200. And as you can see, it was a bit easier than flying around trying to shoot it with a cannon. Right, all you've got to do to let it go is delete the back behemoth gate. And you've got yourself an Ashtocetus. Now you can increase how many bonus levels your tame gets if your server's on a higher taming rate. Here I'm testing on a times 4 taming server. And this one came out with 216 levels. So if you're going to try and tame one of these, it's best to do it when the server taming rate's been boosted. Now you might be thinking the last cannonball somehow affected the taming efficiency. So on this one I'll be using two cannonballs to get its torpor up high, then a catapult to knock it out at the end, as there is no splash damage with a catapult. Super speed underneath it where it can't hurt you. Put a gateway down and then a door inside. That usually stops it teleporting behind it. I'm just checking that that's as close as I can get. Yeah, it is. 
Right, work way around. The whale can push you around from underneath it, but that's about all it can do. I'll close the front door. Now I'll get onto the cannon. It's best if a whale tail whips a trap. That means it's actively on it. If it stops moving like this, it means it's passive. And if you don't have the doors there, it will teleport away. Good, it's attacking. Once you've trapped a whale, you've got about 10 minutes before it tries to walk away. The doors you've put in may stop it from doing that, as it needs line of sight to where it wants to teleport to. Do a test range finding shot away from a whale, as you want to try and hit it on a nose as far away from a body as you can. Then move a cannon to where you think you'll be able to hit it. Pick a time of when you're going to fire the cannonball, whether it's a whale calling or it's doing a tail whip. That way the whale will be in the same place each time when you hit it. I'll wait for the whale to do a call. When it's attacking the trap, the whale usually works its way round to the right, your left. Just wait for a call again. There we go. No numbers on the body, so that's perfect. Wait for it to call again. The next one will be perfect. Right, I put a foundation down. Let's put a catapult on top of that. Why on earth is that not working? Okay, weird. Right. Oh. The doors are stopping it from teleporting. Once it's to up its height, it turns around to try and flee. And you've got about 10 seconds to hit it before it teleports away. Drink something, survivor. Yeah, that one works fine for some reason. Put the boulders in. Right, hit it a few times. Right, I've got its aggro. Press H on a Helena. You can see it's torpor, and Helena's info box will stay up for a few seconds. And while it is, shoot a whale as fast as you can. You're looking for the taming box to appear, just like that, and it will tell you it's unconscious. Right, that's the not so hard bit done. Let's give it a kibble again. Oh. Left it in the box. Don't run into it, you don't want to damage it. Right, it's going to take a while to get hungry, so I'm going to skip forward until it does. So, it's got shot by two perfect cannonballs that didn't damage its body. Then I finished off its torpor with a catapult. I inflicted no body damage at all. But as you can see, it still only gives you 80% taming effectiveness. And then when it's fully tamed, it still only gets to a maximum of 200 levels. So you're probably thinking now it might be the cannonballs that's stopping it getting 100% effectiveness. As I was, so let's try and knock it out just purely with catapults. It's facing the wrong direction here, but I still can hit it with a catapult behind it. Obviously it does less damage than the catapult, so you've got to hit it more times. I'm using a super spy glass, but it does to use a Helena. So it's torpor. Right, so the torpor's high, it's trying to run away. Switch to a different catapult. This was before I learnt the Helena trick, with a taming bar showing. Managed to time it right. It's knocked out. Let's feed it the kibble. And skip forward until it's hungry. There we go, it's just eaten. Use Helena. And unfortunately, Taming efficiency is less than using the cannonballs. 
maybe it's down to hitting it more times. So purely using a catapult doesn't work. I tried it over and over and it still gave the same result. It gave you about 62% taming effectiveness. So on to the next method. You might have thought of shooting it with a mech cannon missile. Let's try that. And found that every time you do, it does loads of body damage. Yeah, it can knock it out, but it completely screw with the taming effectiveness. Let me give this one some kibble. Skip forward until it eats it. And that will give you 53% the lowest so far. However, with the super duper new blitz astrocetus trap, kite the way out of the doorway. I've done this about 40 times now. It will straighten up, run through, it can't damage you. Walk forward slowly, click in the doorway, and it will place it as soon as it's free. Put the door in, close the front door. And that front door will now shield the damage from a mech cannon. So when you shoot a whale in the head, a mech won't do any damage at all. Right, let's try and get in and give it some kibble. And I'll skip forward until it eats it. It's easier because you can just shoot it once with a mech. And that also gives 80% taming effectiveness. But it's a lot easier than shooting it with cannons or a catapult. But more of a pain to make a mech. It doesn't matter what level cannon you've got on your mech. Whether it's an ascended one or just a basic grey one. When you hit the whale you still get 80% taming effectiveness. I've done the hardest part of coming up with a good trap that can hold Astrocetus in place. And I've tried just about every weapon in game to try and knock it out. With nerf rocket launchers, so they don't work anymore. I've tried cruise missiles, I've tried grenade launchers with every type of grenade, using the Astrodelphus, but none of them can knock the whale out and give 100% taming effectiveness. So that's your challenge if you choose to accept it. See if you can knock it out with 100% taming effectiveness, and if you manage it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. This video took ages to test, so please subscribe if you're not already. Please like and click all the usual buttons. Share this video with your friends, as I'm sure it will help them as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.